what is up everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is linda i do post weekly about fashion so if you are into that sort of thing then please do consider subscribing to my channel so we could be friends and if you're coming back then welcome back thank you so much for watching my channel and let's get straight into today's video so today's video is my red bag collection so these are my i don't have that many what is it four almost five if you count the defender so it's not gonna be too too long of a video but i do think that um these are pretty popular bags so hopefully you like my small little red bag collection okay so my very first red bag is i believe my valentino this bag bag number one i had been wanting this bag like you guys have no idea i saw it everywhere and i was like i have to have this one day but then i saw the price and i was like "Ooh!" on second thought i think it was over three thousand dollars something like that it was like just over three thousand us dollars and i was like oh i don't know about that and i had never owned any valentino and so then i'm in italy and I'm in Capri and I go into the Valentino boutique and I find out that Valentino is actually a lot more affordable in Italy since that's where the brand is from. And so I got this bag at much, much better price point than I would have gotten it here in the US. I think I paid just about, just under two grand, I believe, was what I ended up paying for this bag. And it was still a little bit steep, but for me it was worth the price and I'll be honest, one, I love this bag and use it to death. Two, it opened up my world of Valentino because after this bag, I just became a sucker for Valentino and started buying them. I, I have three of the Rock Studs now and a few of the Glam Lock and I actually have a few other, uh, I think at least two or three other Valentinos that I'm kind of eyeing right now and all of it is because of this bag because I realized it's actually quite versatile. Like, you know, sometimes you like a bag and you get it and you realize like, oh, it's not that great. This isn't that bag. Uh, I love it. And I don't find red to be a diff difficult color to like match with clothes. Like for example, today I'm just wearing black and then I threw on my little red Mickey Mouse uh, Zara sweater. It even has like little Mickey Mouse buttons. And I feel like whether I was just wearing black or white, this would have gone. Even with this red sweater, this goes. Um, by the way, you might see Coco. She's looking like she's about to jump. Yep, there she goes. I'll let her say hi. Well, you see her. She's making herself comfortable. I gave her a bad haircut. She might be a little shy. Yeah, she was just making herself comfortable. <laughs> so anyway, back to the bag. So this one, there's a few different ways to wear it, which is one of the selling points of this bag that makes it so versatile. You can hold it from this top handle, and this top handle is actually detachable. And also, it's like a nice little ornament because it just kind of sits on your bag like decoration, you know, or, you know, take it off however you want. Then there's also the strap, which is beautiful. It's just so luxurious. And this is also detachable. It comes off right here, super easy. And... So you can have this bag crossbody, you can have it top handle, you can just take all of it off and I don't know, figure out how to use it as a clutch or something. Then of course it's also spacious. It's dust bag is in there. So it's nice and spacious. I have the iPhone, the regular size one, not like the huge one. And just so you can see it fits with no problems. I have a Valentino wallet that's like that big so obviously most wallets would fit there it also has three compartments one zipper and two like slip pockets right here great great bag again i do not find it hard to match this bag with most of my outfits i mean typically i'm in jeans or leggings and like a whiter black shirt so this will pretty much always go i find the rock studs to be absolutely beautiful i've had this bag for <sighs> at least four years something like that. I want to say roughly around four years and I don't see any major signs of wear. I have dropped this bag. I have, uh, I got like water that spilt on it from when I was in a restaurant and I was so scared and honestly I don't see any damage to it. 
Also, the bottom has little rock studs, so I feel like that serves as almost like little feet to protect your bag when you like set it down on the table. And I couldn't speak any more highly of this bag. Like I said, it opened up my world to Valentino, and I ended up buying a lot more because of that bag. So I would 100% totally buy that bag again. My very next red bag, I would say, is my Prada. This one, it's still in its dust bag. This leather is so smooth. It's very like supple and soft. I believe this one's called the Prada Glass Bag. Oh, and I forgot to mention with the Valentino, this is the medium size rock stud spike bag. So it's the rock stud spike and this is the medium size. It comes in several sizes. It comes in a wallet on chain, it comes in a small, it comes in a medium, and I've seen the large as well. They, there might be even more, but that's already four sizes right there. And then this one, um, I believe it's called Glass, like, but like G-L-A-C-E, something like that. And it has, I think I've also seen it called like the double zip or something. Because it does have like two um, outer, well not outer, but two like, yeah, I guess they're ki kind of outer, kind of inner, kind of outer. It has this like pretty much large compartment in the middle. And then it just has... Um, these two like zipper compartments that go all the way down so I actually use this as a travel bag because it's so big I even have another bag in there so I mean just check this out like it's it's so good I use this one all the time for travel and I'll wear like a black um, like moto jacket and this and I just feel so cool at the airport with like black leggings and nice black jacket and then this bag and I always just feel like I tried like I, I'm put together at the airport but yeah so this one is amazing it comes with the long strap that's adjustable it has like kind of like a belt like you can just sit there and like put it in different of uh, the the little <sighs> holes i don't know why i'm struggling with words today and yeah so you can put it to whatever height preference you'd like and my favorite part which is why i use it to travel are those two zipper compartments because you can put so much so i always have kind of everything organized in my head like the side closest to my body the back pocket um that's where i have typically like my passport boarding pass all that stuff whereas the front one i'll have like my headphones um things that i'm gonna want like more like when i'm on the plane and then in the middle is where I have like my blanket, like my neck pillow, like all that stuff. And I just find this bag to be perfect. It's not too heavy. Um, like it, the bag itself isn't very heavy, even though it's like all leather. It's just such a perfect bag. And then when I'm actually on the plane, I always do put it in its dust bag because I don't like putting it directly on the floor. It makes me so uncomfortable. So I'll always put it like right back in its dust bag and kind of just have it right there at my feet. And then I can just keep grabbing for anything. Also, the middle compartment has a snap button closure, so it kind of helps, but again, regardless, you have these two huge zipper compartments, and another zipper compartment on the inside, and a slip pocket, so I feel like this bag just, I don't know, it's kind of just an amazing bag. This is another bag that I would buy again. Would I buy it in red again? I love it in red, and I haven't had any issues with that. Um, I feel like black would, of course, be more versatile, but... I don't regret buying it in red. Such a beautiful, beautiful, nice Prada bag. My next bag was one of my dream bags. Another dream bag. Because um, the Prada bag, I would say, was more of a practical bag. But I had been chasing a Fendi peekaboo in the whip stitch design. That was just something I had been wanting. I really wanted it in the cognac color and perhaps the large size. But I ended up finding one. That was the medium size peekaboo, which is also called the regular size, and in the whip stitch design, but in this like nice red supple leather. And I said, you know what? I have to have it. Then, which is kind of like the bonus, not really a bag, but also kind of was the defender that I got for it. It is a white and like burgundy-ish defender for this bag, for any of the medium or regular size bags. And so let me show it to you with it on. Ta-da! So this is the Defender. So it's that nice, like, deep, deep red. Beautiful, beautiful. It's got a little, um, what do you call this? Why am I thinking? Like a luggage tag attached to it. And then, of course, you can, like, put your details inside and all that, which I don't think I filled. I, like, never do. The other side's just plain. Doesn't have any little feet. 
uh, defenders you can they have like snap enclosures on the sides which you can either leave open so it has like that winged look to it like that or you can have it closed like just keep the snap buttons like uh, like buttoned <laughs> and then let me show it to you out This is actually the bag I wore today because it just matched my outfit. I thought it was cute since I'm wearing, again, this like little Mickey Mouse sweater. And this is the bag. I have a notebook in there because it's my resolutions. I know. I'm still jotting down people's resolutions. We're like, shh, look how late we are <laughs> from New Year's. But I'm still, it's, it's, you know what? It's a job. It is a job. I'll just say that. But yeah, so here is this gorgeous bag. I just want to cuddle it at night like it's. I'm so happy to get this one. So again, medium size peekaboo. This is the whip stitch design. I have um, several peekaboos, like five I think, and like three defenders. And one of my favorite designs is the whip stitch. You do have to be careful because it like starts to kind of like curve a little bit, but uh, I love it enough where I just ignore that. It's got things in it, which is why you'll see like stuff kind of poking out. Is this not gorgeous? Like look at it look at it it's beautiful um because of this size it has feet the small one does not have feet i don't think any of them do i think they made a few that have them but in general the small peekaboos don't the medium peekaboos do the large i believe do so it makes you feel a little bit more protected this bag is a few years old and it has normal signs of wear nothing that bothers me no like noticeable scratches nothing like that um little bit of i guess some scratches to the hardware but nothing that i mind you can wear it from the top handle it's not detachable it's on there um it has its crossbody strap which is adjustable and it's you know not too thin i actually like the thickness of it i think it's like just the right amount of thickness because my small fanny peekaboo the crossbody strap for that is actually quite thin and this one i just love how it is it goes on so easily and if you're not familiar with the peekaboo it has the two sides they call it the peekaboo because like this part with time will start to sag and you can kind of peek like that into the bag a little bit uh, mine's not old enough where it's sagging or anything but i can't, can't wait for it to get to that point where it's just kind of like that i don't know <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like a little monster but anyway so yeah so on one side it has nothing on the other side it has a zipper compartment and then i had gotten this from coach it's actually just like a little like twilly bandeau whatever you want to call it but it has little ladybugs and even though it's from coach it doesn't really say coach anywhere and i had bought it to put on here to like wrap it around i don't know why like i took it off but whatever i haven't put it back on but i just thought the contrast looks super super nice i have to adjust that at some point in my life but yeah so lately i've just been keeping it in its defender pretty much just to not take up space like these two things separate i just keep it in there and this is <sighs> i've been torn actually i want to ask you guys for advice i found this exact same bag whip stitch design red fendi peekaboo in the small which is my favorite size i was thinking should i sell this one so i could get the small one or should i just keep this one because this is actually a pretty decent size the small fits everything i need it to this one fits a lot more so for example my notebook it pokes out of course but i can still use it at least like none of my other bags were really fitting my notebook like i mean none that i really wanted to wear so this was perfect that's why i wore it today because not only did it match but it fit the notebook that i needed to carry around with me i really didn't care that it was poking out like whatever i was just going to see family and write down resolutions but yeah so i'm trying to figure out if i should just keep the size because it's the only medium size that i have i have the large and i have two smalls or do i really need a third small like just keep this one so i don't know i'm kind of leaning towards just keeping this one because it's such a beautiful bag and the mini one i don't know it's am i crazy no one needs three mini peekaboos forget i asked i'm sorry guys i'm losing it beautiful beautiful bag great size um if you wanted to see the size difference here is the mini oops i have so much happening with my peekaboos here's the strap which i think looks so beautiful with the red peekaboo like wow look at that 
and this is the mini size it's also in a defender so just so you can see them side by side the size comparison so this one fits more than enough and I think it's just the right size the mediums a little bit bigger so that's why I was just considering but I probably should just keep this one I think but I don't know let me know in the comments below what you guys think go for the mini keep the medium probably keep the medium I know that's probably what you're thinking probably next and actually my last red bag would be my Dolce and Gabbana Sicily bag so I wanted to get like a, a different leather one but instead I got this PVC bag I just thought it was really cool like it caught my attention because it's different I feel like a lot of my bags are super classy and this one the style and the shape of it is super classy but that it's PVC just brings that like fun element into this bag and so let me just show you it has these little handles and it also has this strap it's not that long so it's not like a crossbody strap or anything like that but I love the fact that it says love is love and it's like a nice nice little like fabric and this part is detachable but I love it I love the contrast and this also matches my outfit quite perfectly this is a bag that's just casual because it's PVC it has just the very simple Dolce Gabbana logo right here very understated bag but if you know Dolce Gabbana you're probably going to be very familiar with the shape the Sicily bag it's pretty much their most popular bag um the inside i have the dust bag for it just very plain I don't, yeah there's no pockets or anything it does have the snap button closure on the sides if you want to like make it easier to get in and out of your bag fits quite a bit here's my phone getting lost in there and yeah i just i love this one for a more casual day like this is the type of bag that you, you could wear to like the beach or something. I was trying to see if I damaged it. But no, I don't see any damage to it at all. I just think it's like a nice sporty bag. Love this one. Has little feet. It says Dolce Gabbana at the bottom. I just think this is one of those that you can't go wrong. And it's just different from all my other bags. I think this is my only PVC bag. It's not my only Dolce Gabbana. I do have a, another one that's like from Capri that has the ice cream cones. I don't know if you guys remember that collection and I love it, but I don't really gravitate towards it. This one on the other hand, I love for a nice sporty look to wear this one. So that wraps up my red bag collection. Um, I hope you guys do not shy away from red bags because I feel like a lot of people are scared they're not gonna be able to match them with anything and that's not true. Like, like I said, I'm typically wearing jeans or leggings, white or black shirt. Red bags will always match with that. Yeah, it's a little more in your face, but I feel like they're kind of making the statement in your outfit. And then you can, you know, wear red shoes to match or sandals, whatever. Okay, so I think my dogs are done barking. Anyway, so that wraps up today's video. Do let me know which bag was your favorite or also what you think about uh, what I was saying about the Fendi Peekaboo, if I should go for the smaller size. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, get a that. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Again, do consider subscribing and I will catch you all for the next video. I hope you're all doing well. Bye!